Many of you have asked how to model things in Elixir. Maybe it's not entirely clear. So today I wanted to go over that. To look at a specific case, which is a rather silly one, in that I want to show you how to model a ride on the Boston subway system. We're going to have our rider, who we will call Charlie, and he is going to ride, here's a map of the Boston subway system, by the way, from Kendall Square, or Kendall MIT, as it is now, to where he lives, to visit his family in Jamaica Plain, which is near the Heath Stop down at the bottom of the, the green Elon. What are we going to do? How are we going to do this here? So first of all, we're going to define a struct. We're going to, well, first of all, we're going to create a module. We're going to call it loop. It's an event loop. We can also call it Charlie, I guess. We're going to, we're going to find a struct. We're going to have our current station, what line we're on, and how much money we have. And then we're going to create types for lines and stations, and those will just be a, a lists of atoms. You can see this right here. Now we're going to create a bunch of events, and we have to create type events. And we're going to send those events just through a standard send to a process that's going to model this. So here are the possible types for the events. And then here is an actual list of the events in the order that get sent. So you can see he gets on at, onto the red line at Kendall Square, travels from Kendall to Charles MGH, travels from MGH to Park Street where he changes to the green line. And then he's going to travel from to Heath. We skip all the intermediate stops. You can Fail them in if you want, but it's not going to tell you anything new. And try to get off at Heath Street. And they're just going to run into problems. We'll get to that in a minute. So what we need is a receive loop. Now, really, you should probably use a gen server for this. But for just simplicity's sake, I wanted to just do this as a standard selective receive. So the first clause in the function, the loop function is going to handle the case where he's not on the train. So this is a simple state machine. In case he's not on the train. So the, the station is none, and the line is none, and he's going to get on, and we're going to update the amount of money by subtracting the fare he paid, and then we're going to set the station and the line he's on. Now we're going to go into the main receive loop. Now, in the case of travel, we should move from one station to the next. You get the old station, which you see is pinned to station, so it has to match. That's the, the, the uh, up arrow operator there. And the new station, we're going to re recurse through the loop with the new station, and that's just going to happen. And the next clause in the receive is change lines. So again, we're going to pin line and station so that we make sure we only get the values we want and update the line. So we're still at the same station, right? But we're now, instead of on the red line, we're on the green line. All right. And then when he gets to Heath, he's going to try to get off the train with an exit. Unfortunately, he's going to discover that he doesn't have enough money. You got to pay it. In this case, he would have to pay five more cents to get off the train. And Charlie doesn't have it, so he's stuck on the train. And he's going to go back and forth, up and down the line forever. And every day, his wife is going to hand him a sandwich at, uh, well, in the song it was Scully Square Station, which is now Government Center, so it's gone downhill. Um, why she doesn't handle the nickel, I have, my only hypothesis is she was actually trying to get rid of him. And he's now stuck on the train. So the reason I picked Charlie on the MTA for this is, if you look at the type of this loop function, you'll see that it takes an imp a parameter of loop, which is the, the struct at the top, and it returns no return. Because like Charlie on the MTA, this function will never return. So... For all of you who are really confused by this, it means you either are not a fan of the Kingston Trio or do not grow up in the greater Boston area. But Charlie and the MTA is a very famous Boston song. There's a little clip by Vocal Revolution. Well, let me tell you of a story of a man named Charlie on that tragic and fateful day. He put 10 cents in his pocket, kissed his wife and family, went to ride on the MTA. Well, did he ever return? No, he never returned, and his fate is still unlearned. What a pity. Uh, link to the full video below. And so, like Charlie on the MTA, this, this code will never return, but in this case, it's a good thing. So know that because early and Elixir small tail call optimization, even though we are infinitely recursing here, we're not going to build up a stack. So this is perfectly safe to do, unlike, say, JavaScript or not. So anyway, this is the full code in Elixir. 
And if you'd prefer it in Erlang, here's the same code. Same code, more or less direct translation. I actually wrote it in Erlang first. And I hope this you found this useful, or at least entertaining. If you did, please give me a shout below and like and share. And thank you, and stay tuned to the Beam channel for more great content about Erlang and Elixir.